What's up guys, Techups here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today we're talking about the iOS 11.3 and its battery life. So yeah, in this whole video I'm gonna explain to you guys what is the future of the iOS 11.3 and iOS 11 in general and so was the battery life fixed in the iOS 11.3, uh, some stuff about the iOS 12, so let's get started. And okay, so let's talk about my iPhone 7 Plus which was my daily driver a couple of days ago. So first of all, when I installed the iOS 11.3 on it, unfortunately I did not see see any kind of you know battery issues resolved and stuff like this it was just on the same level maybe even worse and why I'm saying worse is just because the throttling has been disabled on older devices and not only on older devices also on my iPhone 7 plus so and now guess what I was just walking by the street near my house uh, listening to the music it just randomly restarts and I, I lose the connection I have no music in my headphones I pick up my phone I look at it and it's just restarting so it is the first time it happened it never happened before it was freezing it was cold and that's because Apple just simply disabled this whole throttling uh, so now iPhones get restarted every single time they're in the cold environment so now it, it is getting even worse so unfortunately we cannot do anything about it and as for me I would probably choose not to actually have this whole throttling disabled but rather have it enabled so my iPhone will not shut down and restart so uh, this whole issue is now a real issue and so this whole kind of controversy that was on the internet is uh, so uh, you know overrated and so overhyped but Apple will of course give you guys a chance to actually disable or enable it manually on your phone in the future now secondly I've bought the iPhone X as you can see the iPhone X it is here and you guys have been questioning me where is your iPhone X it is finally here I've bought it and I know it's a thousand dollar phone I'm just crazy and I think everyone is crazy who bought it for a thousand or more dollars so it is just an insane kind of price anyways now I want to let you know guys that if you want uh, about a battery life just please do not do anything to your phone if you think that you will change your phone and this will fix your battery issues you're wrong and I've never been so wrong before because that was kind of a main reason for me to change my phone I thought my iPhone 7 plus had some kind of issues and stuff like this but no I changed it to my iPhone X and it still has the same exactly the same battery life as it was on the iPhone 7 plus it doesn't hold the half of the day even half of the day so I'm not even asking for a full day so now I have 50% and that's after four hours of for usage so I was using uber at two times and also listening to the music and that's it I wasn't playing games I watched a couple of videos and now I have 50% so that is pretty bad result but again guys if you're buying this phone for the battery issues for just resolving them this will not resolve any of these issues because iOS 11 is the same for all of the devices you cannot do anything with it but now let's move on to the good news the sponsor of today's video is dr. phone by Wondershare dr. phone allows you to have all sorts of different system repair and and recovery tools all in one app for the Mac and the iPhone. Check it out in the link below. But what will fix your battery life is the iOS 12 which we're gonna see in June. So from the latest reports Apple is actually now working on the iOS 12 and it's now focusing on the stability, on the performance and the battery life. So hopefully we will finally see a more stable, a much more stable iOS version uh, that will actually fix all of these issues for us because now iOS 11 has a lot of different you know kind of cool features. I know it is so great. We have a AR kits, we have any emojis, we have a ton of new features and I actually love iOS 11, like seriously, but it's almost impossible to use it just because of this battery life and some stability stuff like uh, random restarts and you know resprings and stuff like this, it is so bad. Now, but iOS 12, you know, may actually fix all of these issues for us and even for the iPhone 5s. So I'm not sure if Apple will actually continue supporting iPhone 5s for the iOS 12, probably not, but if they will, iPhone 5s will fix itself much much better on the iOS 12 than on the iOS 11 and that means all of the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5s users will have another extra year for enjoying their uh, beautiful phones uh, for more time but of course that's in our dreams because as Apple does every single time they get rid of these older models and replace them with the newer ones so for example the SE and the 6s are uh, more budget-friendly versions that can replace iPhone 6 and the 5s please do not hope for the iOS 11 iOS 11 will probably stay in history as the worst and most unstable iOS version like ever made and hopefully iOS 12 will be here to replace it and give another chance and life to the older and the newer devices but yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it just wanted to kind of make a little update video for you and of course if you enjoyed this one definitely be sure to smack the like button as well as subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future videos and as always guys I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out